today's video is a little tutorial on a classic red lip look so basic but we're doing it anyway so i'm first going to start off by priming with the new artistry primer thingy this is such a good product i love how it leaves me with a really nice matte finish and it feels so cooling on the skin now i'm just gonna go in and apply some foundation right now my foundation still don't match me I'm still getting over the tan that i got over the summer um, but we, we we gotta make it work. We gotta make it work. I can't buy more foundations I just can't so just blending all of that out with the ColourPop Kabuki brush I think it's called and then I'm just gonna be mixing in some of the youth extend lifting smoothing foundation Just because the exact thick one I found it to be a little bit too matte Just blending and more I'm adding some concealer. I'm going in with a ColourPop concealer because you guys know that I don't like the one from Artistry. Now we're just gonna set everything with some powder and then what are we doing after oh now i'm just gonna go ahead and fill in my brows using the power brow pen from the tokyo collection i really like this pen it's been one of my current uh favorites one of my go-to's and i just love how it leaves your brows they look very naturally filled in and i really like it Now we're just gonna highlight the brow bone with one of these shades from the On The Go palette. And then to bronze up the skin a little bit to get some color back in, I'm just gonna use this blush, but in the shade Golden Light. Such a pretty shade. I've gone through so many of these. Now we're just adding some blush. This is one of the little cheek and lip duos from the Paris collection. I really like them. They're very long wearing, they're very pigmented, and they are fairly easy to blend out. You do struggle a little bit, um, but I, I really like them though. And now we're just adding some highlight. This is from one of those little new eye and cheek duos from the shanghai collection i only like the highlighter i don't like the eyeshadows but the highlighter is really good very pretty and then just to set everything we're going in with the artistry studio makeup setting spray and then we're just going to take this matte brown shade all in the crease the eyes are just super super simple overall the makeup is very simple just because i want the lips to be the focus of everything so we're just taking this matte brown shade all in the crease. We're taking this two-in-one eye stick. We're taking the crayon side and I'm just applying this all over the eyelid. And then after, I'm just going to go in and blend it out. But these two-in-one eye sticks, if you can still get your hands on them, get them. I think that these are great to create just a very, like, simple look if you don't really have a lot of time could really create such a simple but pretty look with these and they are very creamy and easy to blend out and i took um, more of that matte brown shade from the palette and i'm putting it in the crease and I'm just blending those two shades out. It's okay if it looks messy at first, just because then you just have to go back in and blend it. And then I'm just taking some of that crayon underneath the lash line, the lower lash line, I guess you could say. And then applying a little bit more back on the eyelid and just blending everything out. Very simple. I think this is like the most 
simple eyeshadow look that I've ever done on my channel. And then we're just taking some mascara. I love this mascara, it's so good. And I usually keep it like short just because I like how it adds volume. But you can also extend the wand and that'll add a lot of length. But I add just a little bit just because I am still gonna go in and apply some false lashes. And then just applying some inner corner highlight. And the lips. This is the Spice Red shade from their new Light Up Silky Matte Lip Colors. It's from the new uh, Shanghai collection. I really like them. They're so comfortable. They are very pigmented and they are super, super long wearing. Just to clean up around the mouth a little bit, I just take some of the foundation from the Correct and Perfect Face Compact. And we're just taking the Artistry Concealer Brush. But yeah, that is it. I hope that you guys enjoyed this look. Please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and make sure to subscribe. Bye!